Coach Kathy coming at you from Hybrid Fitness, and today we're gonna to talk about posture. So if you are a busy adult who likes to stay active, maybe you do some kayaking, maybe you do some running on the weekends, maybe you chase your kids every day, one of the things that you need to do is to stay limber. So we're gonna talk about four awesome tips today to help you stay limber and to keep that active lifestyle going. Every single day we are in four different positions and each of those positions, our posture can be compromised in some way. So I'm gonna give you some easy steps on the first one, which is sitting. So here's our chair, we're gonna sit. When you're sitting in a chair, you want your legs at 90 degrees as possible. You would like your feet planted on the floor, hip width apart. Okay, you're gonna suck that belly in just a little bit. Okay, just engage those abs just a little bit. So back is nice and tall. You want your chin parallel to the floor and you're gonna be looking straight ahead. So if you're sitting in a car, you're gonna want this same position, okay? And instead of putting your hands where we all learn to drive with them right up here on the steering wheel, we're gonna put them down low at the bottom of the steering wheel because that leaves our arm at 90 degrees, elbow right underneath the shoulder. We're looking straight ahead, we can see everything that's going on and we're really safe. If you are sitting in front of a computer, you want that same exact thing. You want the keyboard in front of you, you wanna be able to type, arm is still at 90 degrees, you wanna be looking directly at that monitor. All right, so tip number two is standing. So most of us stand in any old way that we would like, but what we would like is to have your feet planted firmly right underneath your hips. You want a slight arch in your back. You want those shoulders pushed back, those shoulder blades brought back together in the back just slightly, and your chin parallel to the floor. Tip number three, we're gonna talk about lifting. So if you have to lift something, granted this is a foam roller, so it's not very heavy, but I'm gonna use it as my example. If you have to lift something, we're gonna bend all the way down with our knees. Your feet are hip width apart, okay? You're gonna grab whatever it is. You're gonna hold it really close to your body as you push up with your legs. The other thing that you would like to do is if you have to hold something on one side, like a child, so lots of busy parents are always running with children on their hip, so if you have your child on your hip, you are actually crunching all of those little joints in your spine and putting all the weight on one side. So all we need to do is just shift that weight occasionally. So you're gonna have the weight on one side and then the weight on the other. It could be laundry basket or child. The other thing that you wanna keep in mind is when you're lifting something is you don't wanna be rotating or twisting while you're lifting it. So whatever you're lifting, you're holding it close to your body and you're lifting it straight up and straight down. You just be very careful when you're putting things in and out of your trunk of your car because that does involve some twisting. So just be really careful. Tip number four, we're gonna talk about sleeping. We spend a third of our life sleeping. So we have to be really careful what we're gonna sleep on for that amount of time. So you wanna make sure that you're gonna rotate that mattress and you're gonna pretend that you're a Goldilocks and you're gonna look for the mattress that is not too firm and not too soft, but just right. When you're sleeping, we don't wanna lay on our bellies because what that does is that hyperextends our back and that can cause a lot of discomfort and a lot of aches and pains in the morning. We want to either lie on our back with our knees bent slightly. You can put a pillow underneath your knees, you can put some sort of rolled up towel, anything that gives those knees just a little bit of a lift, that's the best position. The other position is to sleep on your side. But if you're going to sleep on your side, you wanna make sure that your spine is straight. So you want your pillow to hold your head in line with your spine. And if you need to, if you have a tiny waist, you need to put some sort of pillow right here to keep that spine nice and straight. So those are my four easy tips to help you every day with your posture, to keep you limber so you can continue to do all those activities that you love. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button down below and join us again for more hybrid fitness tips.